हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन अवर चैनल ई फंडा फॉर टूडेज टॉपिक लेवल इंजीनियरिंग गाइड इन डायरेक्ट लेवल मेजरमेंट पार्ट सेवन बी इफ यू आर न्यू टू अवर चैनल देन प्लीज वॉच ऑल अवर इंजीनियरिंग वीडियोज सो एज टू मेंटेन द कंटिन्यूटी बिटवीन द नॉलेज शेयरिंग टॉपिक एंड डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब टू अवर चैनल एज वी हैव स्टार्टेड दिस सीरीज इन पार्ट्स लेवल इंजीनियरिंग गाइड लेवल इंजीनियरिंग गाइड बेसिक इंट्रोडक्शन पार्ट सेवन ऑलरेडी क्रिएटेड एंड पब्लिश द वीडियो लेवल इंजीनियरिंग गाइड डायरेक्ट लेवल मेजरमेंट पार्ट सेवन ए वीडियो इज ऑलरेडी क्रिएटेड एंड पब्लिश टूडे वी आर कवरिंग लेवल इंजीनियरिंग गाइड इन डायरेक्ट लेवल मेजरमेंट पार्ट सेवन बी लेट्स बिगिन विथ अवर टूडेज टॉपिक इन डायरेक्ट लेवल मेजरमेंट the indirect method of a level measurement depends on the material having a physical property which can be measured and relate to level measurement many physical and electrical properties have been used for indirect level measurement and are well suited to produce proportional output signal for remote transmission included in this methods are buoyancy the force produced by a submerged body which is equal to the weight of the fluid it displaces hydrostatic head the force or a weight produced by the height of the liquid sonar or ultrasonic material to be measured reflect or affect in a detectable manner high frequency sound signals generated at appropriate locations near measured material microwave similar to ultrasonic but uses a microwave instead of a ultrasonic beam conductance at a desired point of a level detection the material to be measured conducts or ceases to conduct electricity between two fixed probe locations or between a probe and a vessel wall capacitance the material to be measured serves as a variable dielectric between two fixed capacitor plates in reality there are two substances in which form the dielectric material whose measurement is desired and the vapor space above it the total dielectric value change as the amount of one material increases while the other decreases radiation the material measured absorbs the radiation energy as the capacitance method vapor space above the measured material is also an absorbing characteristics but the difference in absorption between the two is a great enough that the measurement can be related quite accurately to measured material weight the force due to weight can be related very closely to level when its density is constant and a variable concentration components or temperature variations present difficulties resistance the pressure of the major material squeezes too narrowly separated conductors together reducing the overall circuit resistance in an amount proportional to the level micro impulse that is time of flight electrical pulses launch and travels back in a frequency directly proportional to the level of liquid the type of uh, level measuring devices a differential pressure type time of flight ultrasonic time of flight radar type nucleonic level measurement capacitance level measurement rf admittance these are the some of the measuring devices in this we will see the key type as well as the most popular application use in a industry instrument devices we will see we are moving on to our first type that is a differential pressure level transmitter that is a difference of the hp and lp as you are aware that the differential pressure acts between the difference between the two pressures are appearing at the hp side and the lp side 
this technique will be used to measure the exact level of the liquid inside the vessel that is the hydrostatic head instrument for measuring the liquid level in a vessel operating above the atmospheric pressure uses the full capability of the dp instrument with the help of hp side and lp side of the measuring elements connected to the vessel one can see in a various configurations we have used or shown in a picture where the various close tank level measurement techniques are being shown and we will see the details of the or each point by point in figure 1 close tank level measurement using dp transmitter where the transmitter is installed exactly at the hp tapping point and this is the most ideal and preferred way of installation where one can get high side of a dp as well as the low side of the dp where the transmitters are installed at the near hp tapping and the proportionate level signal is transferred to the control room in a second figure one can see the closed level measurement using the dp transmitter where the transmitter installed exactly at the hp tapping point and this is the one configuration which we have discussed just now and in third figure one can see the transmitter mounted above the hp point where this is the not preferable as here we have a chance to form the bubble in the impulse line in the last configuration one can see the closed tank level measurement using dp transmitter where the transmitter installed below the hp tapping point and this configuration generally gives the error of a x and the same can be compensated and the compensation techniques is already covered in our previous presentations video moving on to another type that is a displacer type displacer type level sensors uses the archimedes principle to detect the liquid by continuously measuring the weight of a displacer rod emerge in the process fluid the process fluid may be anything based on the uh, process requirement one can see in a figure the displacer is a cylinder in a shape with a constant cross sectional area and made long or short as required one can see in a configuration there the electronic displacer lt technology operates by detecting changes in buoyancy force caused by a liquid level change one can see in a figure where process vessel is shown along with the isolation valves the measuring chambers is uh, installed where the displacer is uh, immersed in the fluid and the lvdt and the level transmitters are used so as to get the 4 to 20 milliamps transmitter output and where the length of the displacer is shown with the letter l and one can see the exact configuration installation in a field where these chambers and transmitter arrangement is being made and whatever the liquid is displaced by the displacer the same amount of a liquid is measured as a weight of the displacer rod to get the exact level time of flight radar is the principal mode of operation for most radar laser and active acoustic devices this technique uses the time between the transmission of a pulse and the reception of an echo is measured to provide the range and the types are non contact type radar level transmitter shown in a figure that these devices uses a radio wave to travel in open space where more signal loss due to tangency of electromagnetic radiation to disperse over the space contact type guided wave radar that is gwr level transmitter 
by name itself suggests that waveguide that is a rod assembly to travel this signal and combat this signal loss by channeling radio energy along a straight line path one can see in a figure probe use a guide wave radar instrument maybe a single metal rod parallel pairs of a metal rod or a coaxial metal rod and tube structure the time calculated from transmission to reception of a signal is proportional to the level in the vessel and there are various types of advantages and disadvantage for this technique advantages non contact type high accuracy can measured through plastic tanks disadvantages the main disadvantages associated with a radar level detector is their higher cost in addition these systems are not able to detect the level between the interfaces point and with this we will continue on this topic in the detail where we'll see through the animation for better understanding of time of flight radar principle we have used some animations where in animation one can see guided wave radar type level transmitter as well as the radar type non contact type where you can see the changes in the level between 0 to 100 that is measured in terms of 4 to 20 milliamps and similarly in other part we can see the waveform for the non contact type time of flight ultrasonic type that is a tof is the method of measuring the distance between a sensor and an object based on the time difference between emission of a signal and its return to the sensor after being reflected by an object one can see in a figure how the arrangement is made ultrasonic wave used to measure level of a liquid and a solid object which is contactless principle and most suitable for the level measurement of a hot corrosive and a boiling liquid ultrasonic is a sound wave above human hearing that is 20 kilohertz one can see in a figure where the closed tank is shown and the ultrasonic level transmitter is mounted on the top where the level is calibrated between 0% to 100% in terms of 4 to 20 milliamps to 20 milliamps and you can see the point a that is empty distance then point b the distance of a sensor from fluid level c is the fluid level and d is the measurement span this is how the time difference is calculated and it is output is in terms of the percentage level summary of a level measuring instrument and their installation one can see in a vessel where various types of level measuring instruments are installed like magnetic level gauges and different types of level gauges displacer type instrument as well as float type switches and another figure one can see dp transmitter as well as for automation section these field devices are connected to the io point and further to plc system or a control system so as to get the controlled level output now moving on to summary of a level measuring instrument with the help of courtesy from the instrumentation tool team where one can see how the installation of a various type level devices are used and the operation of their working and how the performance is achieved with the help of their waveform guided wave radar type ultrasonic type two wire pulse radar four wire radar four wire fm cw radar and capacitance type one can see this figures carefully and understand this animation for better understanding of our level measuring devices with this we are concluding on today's topic and keep watching our channel e funda where we have covered various engineering topic in series and that will be helpful if you are new to our channel please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to press bell icon to get latest updates and reviews on a various section please provide your feedback in a comment section so that our team will get a motivation to make us very valuable good
editions of a technical topics so as to share the details related to engineering and fundamentals